immaculate conception yeah right crazy mary good that you lied a test to maybe seed of the lord breaking the law with the man next door blame it on an angel they'll believe joseph will wonder but you know he won't leave they all Magic in the air, swirling all around you. Mary, Mary, in the veil of stars. You changed the world, you broke my heart. Thank you, Mary, you saved me too. It's stone us both if they ever Sold out the manger, well, all right. The mystery baby got a supernova spotlight. They say that he's the one. Brother Joseph got a king for a stepson. Mary, Mary, under the veil of stars. You changed the world, you broke my heart. Thank you, Mary, you saved me too. It's not us both if they ever See that guy sitting there on the couch? That guy's me. The son of God. The second coming. I know, not what you expected. But the book... The book got it a little wrong. There was no show. No trumpet. I made it into the world the same way as before. The same old boring way as everyone else. I've got no superpowers. And no flying car. Apparently, my father does have those things, being omnipotent and all, but the genes weren't passed down. Sure, I can walk on water, but I hate the cold, and sometimes I fall down. So what's it like being the son of a deity? It's not all that different from being normal. Personally, I don't want to be the son of God, what with the expectations and the veneration and Thank all. You. Thank you very much. I don't want any of it. In fact, I'm not so sure I should even be talking about it. But, Mom, well, ever since she told me who my father is, she feels it necessary to tell the whole world. And more and more people are starting to find out. I've been getting fan mail. Women are wanting me to father their, uh, bless their children. And even companies are wanting me to endorse their products. By Pepsi. But, it's not all well and good. The church has called me a heretic, a heathen, and a fraud. I've had death threats. My girlfriend, she left me. She thought I was cheating on her. I lost my job. Oh, did I mention the death threats? So, here I am, same as always, content to ignore the aforementioned, content to drink my beer, or whatever else happens to be in front of me, content to play video games, content to hang out with my buddy Pete. Who's Pete? I met Pete down at the local watering hole. The Pearly Gates. He's a bouncer. Pete was the first friend I made when I moved here. He actually turned out to be the best friend I've ever had. Well, I've, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of stories about, about what he can do and seen a lot of weird things myself. But, uh, son of God... I don't know. Am I a religious man? Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to, to really verify something that outlandish. But you never know. We became friends after a while. You know, he uh, 
showed up and kind of be the last one to leave when uh, when when he was allowed in. Nah, we hung out after my shift and got to talking. We have a lot of similar interests. Not that I have a lot of interests, but you know, beer, video games. That's really all it that I need to make a friendship, I guess. Yeah, I was working. <clears throat> nah, the first couple times that he came up, he was just plowed out of his tree, really. And I had to deny him. I think there was probably three times before he actually showed up and wasn't totally gunned. Seems like an okay guy though. Um, right now I'm uh, I'm pretty much his only buddy right now, and he's been hanging out at my house a lot, sleeping on the couch. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that he he makes some new friends. Right now it's uh, it's putting a lot of stress on me. I can't be be there for him the whole time, you know, I got a job, and he's still new, so he'll probably make some buddies, and I'm actually uh, organizing a llama retreat with uh, my buddy Phil, we're uh, gonna be getting a group of guys together and go off into the mountains, pack up some, some llamas with supplies, and it's basically like a camping trip, but a little bit longer of a trek, I think it's... Uh, Gonna be looking at a, a day's travel there, and uh, then we'll set up camp, and you know everybody just kind of hangs out and talks. Maybe we'll make some friends on on this trip. I hope so. Yeah.